Lady Louise forced to miss royal tradition her family arrive at Easter service without her. For the second year in a row, Lady Louise was unable to attend the Easter service at St. George's Chapel with the rest of the royal family. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. At the Royal Easter Service at St. George's Chapel, fans were excitedly expecting the entrance of King Charles and Queen Camilla. However, one member of the royal family was conspicuously missing. Since Lady Louise is a student of English literature at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, she was conspicuously absent from the service on Sunday. On its website, it states that term time continues, through the week before and following Easter. Two weeks of revision are then scheduled, with exams starting on Saturday April 20. Louise has been made to miss previous year's festivities, so this isn't the first time she's been made to skip the custom. In contrast, King Charles and Queen Camilla waved and grinned while attending the yearly Easter Sunday church service. This is the monarch's first significant public appearance as he gradually resumes his royal duties following his announcement of his cancer diagnosis. When someone yelled Happy Easter as the king arrived, the 75 year old joined the other members of the royal family for the yearly Easter matins service. Charles answered by waving his arm and saying, And to you. Princess Anne and her spouse, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, the Duke of York, and Sarah, the Duchess of York, were among the royal guests. A bit ahead of the King and Queen, they all arrived at the chapel. But the Princess of Wales isn't going to the service, either, along with her family. This occurs a little more than a week after Kate said she had begun preventative chemotherapy in an emotional video message. This year's attendees at the service include the Prince and Princess of Wales, as well as their kids, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Rather, they are spending the Easter holidays together while they come to terms with the fact that tests following Kate's significant abdominal surgery revealed her condition. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond told OK that there are several reasons why the King's Easter presence is considered a brilliant move. The doctor clarified, I think this is a really positive sign that the King is standing up to the cancer treatment well and that his doctors must be satisfied with his progress, and I think it probably lends weight to the suggestions that he is impatient to get things back to normal. On Sunday March 31st, Zara and Mike Tyndall are scheduled to compete in a three-day equestrian event at Thorsby Hall in Nottinghamshire, so they will miss the royal family's customary Easter Sunday matins ceremony at St. George's Chapel, Windsor. The pair, who are parents of three-year-old Lucas, five-year-old Lena, and ten-year-old Mia, will not be attending King Charles's first public appearance since his cancer diagnosis. The Prince and Princess of Wales, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are scheduled to spend the day at Anmore Hall in Norfolk so the Tyndall family won't be the only one without a member. It is anticipated that Zara will participate in the eventing Spring Carnival's advanced competition with two horses from 29 March to 31 March. Alongside Stuart Bunting of B Events, her father Captain Mark Phillips is returning for a second year as a course advisor. They have a nice easy start and then the middle of the course, around the house, is quite serious, and then when they're back across the road it's a nice way to finish, Captain Phillips said.